Hey guys, so today I wanted to go over a new setup for my trailer. Uh, I got a 250 Rally here and uh, a single motorcycle trailer obviously and uh, been struggling with ways to strap it down and just keep it secure and make it fast and simple to get it on and off. Um, the other way that I was doing it was using you know old school ratchet straps which I have right here. Uh, I had, uh, I don't know, maybe Five of them, I think I had total. I had uh, kind of the same setup here: one here, one on the uh, on the rear, each side. So four, and then the uh, one going around the uh, front rack, the uh, crash bars, you know, just for safety. And I still have the one uh, ratchet strap on there, so I'm still using that. But I was looking for maybe a faster way, and saw a guy online had a setup like this and went to the store bought the stuff it was like 50 bucks you know for got two of these little straps that you throw over the handlebars one here in between to connect a handful of carabiners and these turnbuckles you can see here how they clip on from the carabiners as you can see here guys this is the uh, turnbuckle that i bought uh, i believe mine was a 10 inch this is a 7 3 quarter inch um that's the only difference. This one's two sixteen, I believe. Mine was just a little over three dollars, so you know, not much of a difference. But uh, I ended up buying four of these uh, parts right here, and this is what uh, I used on my trailer. So at Home Depot, I bought several of these. I believe I bought six, and I also had I don't know, probably three or four already lying around at the uh, storage unit with my motorcycle. So I have a handful of these to use to. Uh, clip everything together to the uh, to the trailer. Uh, now online it shows at almost nine dollars here. I don't think I paid that much. I think I only paid maybe three or four bucks a piece in store. So I just drove over to Home Depot and picked them up myself rather than buying them online. It seemed like it was more expensive online than it was in the store. But uh, these are three eighths, three and a half inch uh, stainless steel spring links. And like I said, I think I bought about maybe six or eight of these. So you probably need to do the same if you're going to try to do this setup. So the next thing I bought was these Husky straps. Um, I think I bought six of these. There's two that go to the front from the handlebar down to the trailer on each side. So four in the front and then one for the rear on the left and right side to attach. Um, so this is an 18 inch by one quarter inch soft loop strap. Uh, you only get one in a pack. They're basically a dollar. And like I said, I bought six total, four in the front, two in the rear. And this makes it easy. I can just twist it on, lock it in tight at the end. Keeps everything solid and secure. I mean, this bike's not going anywhere. Plus it's fast. When I'm ready to go, I just loosen it two or three notches, pop out the carabiner and go. When I'm ready, clip the carabiner on, turn it two or three notches and I'm ready to go. You know, whereas before locking in all the ratchet straps, cranking them down then having to tie them all off and then uh, the problem I was having before is that with the ratchet straps, I would get, uh, you know, a couple miles up a dirt road, you know, with this thing bouncing around because it doesn't have suspension. It's just banging and bouncing that the uh, straps would eventually start coming loose. So, you know, I would have to pull over, restrap everything, tighten it all back down. And I was just having a hell of a time with it and, uh, you know, wasting a lot of my time, you know, resetting everything, you know, every, you know, whatever, five, 10 miles. So, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe that's user error. Maybe that's my problem you know maybe I'm doing something wrong but regardless it was just taking a lot of time to get it on get it off and then having to re-tighten everything for fear that the thing's you know gonna fall off the trailer because everything's coming loose so so far you know for 50 bucks seems like a pretty simple quick easy uh, setup really secure the one thing I like is that it's not compressing my forks anymore um, using the ratchet straps before I was connecting it here at the uh, triple crease uh, right here and it would come down and I mean it was really cranking hard pulling the forks down I had um, you know one of these which is a fork saver I don't know if you can see it here but uh, <clears throat> You know, with the fork saver, it would basically just fit in here and, uh, you know, kind of keep everything secure. So now with this kind of setup, it doesn't crank the forks down. There is a little tiny compression, not much at all. Same thing with the rear, barely any compression at all. It's basically just holding it from moving lateral or forward and back, but it's not compressing the suspension at all. 
So if anybody needs one of these, let me know. Or I'll sell it to you. Uh, won't be using that again. Got a handful of ratchet straps. Probably won't use, but I don't know. I'll keep them as a backup. You never know. They can come in handy for other things. But right now, this is a pretty sweet setup. Pretty happy with it. The only thing I may change is right here. I have it hooked up to the pedal where it goes through and not quite sure if I like that idea because there are these little spikes, you know, for my boots, uh, cleats to clip on. Uh, I might go through the frame here instead. I think it might even be more secure, obviously. Uh, just go through here and then uh, avoid worrying about this strap, you know, getting cut by these little spikes tearing and you know, obviously coming apart while I'm driving. So I may do that on the next round, test it out, see how that goes. But as of right now, this seems to be working pretty well. Really like it. You got the same setup on this side. Same turnbuckles in the rear here. Same strap setup up to the handlebars. So far, no problems here. Everything seems to work out pretty well. And like I said, this bike, shake it and rock it jump on it and, and this thing's not going anywhere it's locked tight to that trailer now i did use one ratchet strap <clears throat> just around the front here goes around the crash bars and uh, i don't know i guess it's just more for peace of mind i highly doubt it's really doing a whole lot more than what's already on there but you know i put it on anyways i figure if anything it's pulling the bike forward towards you know the back of the car front of the uh, trailer you know, just so it doesn't have any chance of rolling back or moving at all. So it really keeps it secure and stable. And I mean, so far, I think this will actually work out pretty well. Uh, when I show up where I want to ride, basically just turn this a couple of notches, pop the clamp off and I'm ready to go. Same thing, just clip it back on, turn it a couple of notches, tighten it back up and I'm ready to go. Super fast and simple, really secure. And a whole hell of a lot easier than all the ratchet straps and tying off, you know, the ends of it and having the stuff fray and fall apart. And, you know, 10 miles down the road, the thing's bouncing around on a dirt road and it comes loose and you got to put it all back together again. So, I don't know, try this out for a month or two, see how it works and hopefully the bike stays on the trailer. So another big advantage to uh, having the bike on the trailer is that now I can just leave it there suspension isn't compressed i can just roll it straight into uh the garage here with everything else fits perfectly still got room to move around in here and i can leave it here pretty much indefinitely i mean i'm not going to hurt the suspension you know if i'm wrong you know maybe a mechanic somebody out there can tell me i'm wrong you know tell me something different that i don't know but as far as i know the suspension really isn't cranked down isn't tight um shouldn't be compressed so you know, leaving it here on the trailer should be okay temporarily. Probably leave it here for a couple of days, take it out, ride it, bring it back. Obviously take it off, clean it, you know, re-lube everything and then put it back away until the next ride. So anyways, guys, pretty happy with this setup. Easy to maintain, easy to store. Sort of liking what I got right now. Thanks, guys. Later.